Today, playoff baseball returns to Denver, Colorado, as we continue the 2024 National League Division Series with the Dodgers and the Colorado Rockies. It's a huge accomplishment for the franchise to get this far, and we have now ensured with our win in Game 2 that we're going to play two games in Denver, and we have a chance to possibly end this series without a trip back to LA. We have games three and four of the NLDS today with the Rockies trying to build upon their impressive game two win. They came close to winning game one as well so you have to like our chances moving this series to Denver with John Gray taking the mound. He was not expected to play a major role for us when the season began but he filled a major need and he's been a core part of this rotation. Game three, underway and this one's lifted to left field. Mookie Betts starts game three with a solo shot. And the Dodgers go up one nothing, just one pitch into the day. Tried to start him off with the slider away and just caught too much of the plate. That's a meatball for Mookie Betts. And you don't want to make mistakes like that against this lineup. The Dodgers strike first. Here's Corey Seager with one down and a 2-1 count as that one's right down the middle fouled off. 3-2, tap to the right side. Gray covering, nice flip by France and they get the out. Here is Cody Bellinger who had a very up and down First couple games in LA, and he takes the pitch inside. This is a full count. And he lets this go low, and that's the first walk for John Gray. It extends the inning for catcher Will Smith. And that one's tapped too short. On a couple hops, Trey Turner makes the play. But the Dodgers get one and hand that lead off to the lefty, Julio Urias. He's posted better numbers in the past. His ERA and whip were up this year. And the Rockies do have some lineup changes here as they face the lefty. And Turner is behind. One and two. Catches up to this one. Lifted to left center. But way too far underneath it. One away. Brian Reynolds batting in the two spot. And he turns on this one. Down the left field line. And Hernandez has this as well. A couple outs for Urias, and now David Geronimo. Good contact right at Seager, and that's a 1-2-3 inning. Let's head into the second inning, two away. This is Teoscar Hernandez, who hit the walk-off homer back in game one. Good curveball outside for John Gray, and then chasing one inside. Gray is ahead. And he'll chase that one as well. Strike three. A nice inning for John Gray. Let's go bottom two. Ty France batting fifth. Got one up and hits it the other way into right field. Rockies get their first hit. Brandon Nimmo from the leadoff spot to the sixth spot now. And this is going to land in front of Bellinger. And France gets the second in time. That's back-to-back -back singles. And here's the rookie, Johnny Schaefer, making the playoff start. He's been mashing lefties early in his career, but he's behind Urias. And takes called strike three. It was the breaking ball outside. Schaefer looks at out number two, and it's up to Solak. That is belted to center field. Bellinger chasing back on the track. He's got this right at the wall. Bellinger showing off his range here in the big Coors Field outfield. And I thought the Rockies were going to take the lead on this swing. Top three, Mookie Betts trying to follow up his home run. He's behind it. Two and two. There's the slider outside. That's the pitch he tried to throw him first pitch of the day. Two down now for a Suahe, and that is called on the outside. One, two, count. He'll elevate, and that is Chase. Strike three. Really, so far, just one mistake for John Gray. He's been very reliable this season, but this will find its way through all the way to the wall. A well-hit ground ball double 
for Corey Seager. Good way to start the inning for L.A. Now Bellinger fouls off a pitch that could have been ball four. Another payoff. That's on the ground, and Seager stays put. Good play by Turner. One down. Here's Will Smith. 3-2 count, and that's in the air to center. Not hit all that deep, and Seager stays put again. That leaves the inning up to Max Muncy. And he's jammed over to third base, and Devers dives to take that one away. You got to pitch and play great defense here against the Dodgers, and the Rockies are doing that early on. But they've also got to get on the board. This one's hit well by Geronimo. Into right center field, and again, Bellinger gets to it. We've been keeping him busy in this series. Here's Ty France, 3 for 11 so far in this NLDS. And it's ripped over to short, and again, Seager has it. The Rockies have made some good contact, but nothing to show for it. Another low-scoring day as Urias puts down the bunt, and that allows the lead runner to move to second. And now Mookie Betts has an RBI chance. Two down, and that's turned on. Deep down the left field line. Hooking foul. Little over five feet away from leaving. And this time he's underneath it. Geronimo into the gap. And this inning is over. That's five solid innings for John Gray, which is what you can normally count on him for. Rockies still scoreless, and Urias picks up the strikeout on Nimmo. That's just his second. Colorado's putting it in play. They're just not finding any of this space. But Schaefer's able to base hit left field. That gets us to Solak. And he hits this one the other way. Schaefer to second, 2-1. And that'll ensure that John Gray's day is over. Anthony Santander off the bench. A big deadline acquisition. And he's jammed a bit into right. And Betts under it. Will not have to throw to third. Schaefer stays put. Back to the top and Trey Turner. And this is a similar hit ball, a little less deep. And the Rockies, again, can't get anything going. And they're going to have to go to their bullpen now. It's Alex Colome who's pitched a couple shutout innings already here in this series. And that is hit the other way over third base. A Suahe aboard. He's trying to stretch this one. Relay throw. Got him at second. A little greedy on that one, but the Rockies pick up the out. And that brings up Seager, who will also beat the shift the other way. And he will be content with the base hit. Bellinger behind the cutter. Fouls off the fastball. 0-2 count. And a beautiful cutter from Colome. That's his go-to pitch. A strikeout for Bellinger. Now two away. And Will Smith, 0-2, got him with the changeup. Another brilliant inning for Alexander Colome. That brings us bottom six. David Geronimo is 4 for 12 in this series and fouls off the fastball. Urias still in this, trying to go through six. And this is hit in the air to right. They keep hitting this a little bit late and giving Betts easy fly outs. One more to complete the sixth. Here is Rafi Devers. 0 for 2 on the day, and he's behind in the count. Good slider away. You have to offer at it, and there's not much you can do. That's six shutout innings for Julio Urias. Colome stays in the game into the seventh inning to strike out Max Muncy. That's three in a row. How about Kevin Biggio? Strike three on the cutter. Five outs for Colome. Four strikeouts, and he's not coming out. Fouled off by Hernandez. Colome, one, two. Well done. Fifth strikeout. Took him 21 pitches to get six outs. Still, the only run was scored on the first pitch of the day. 
And Urias is in for the seventh. And France falls behind. One, two, count. And this one's lifted to left center, hit well. Bellinger gives chase, and this one is out of here. A solo shot for Ty France. Had to go down to get this one, but he lifts it out as he's done all season, and the Rockies are finally on the board. Took a lot longer than we were hoping, but you know, anybody in this lineup has the chance to have that game-changing hit. We're all tied up going to the eighth inning man. This is Sir Anthony Dominguez. And there's the triple digit fastball he's famous for. In the air, hit well to left field. Geronimo on the move, back at the wall, and he's got it. Brent Rooker gave it a ride. One down and back to bets. Missed outside there, that's 100 and Dominguez has to come out of the game. He's throwing with so much heat, he actually created a blister on his throwing hand. So suddenly we have to bring in Michael Givens. He's had his ups and downs in this series. And that's back up the middle. Nicely done behind the bag. Two down for Carlos Asuahe. And he's underneath this one. Givens comes in for Dominguez and gets some really quick outs. And it's still a tied game, one apiece. Dom Thompson Williams, the young outfielder off the bench. He'll tap this one to third base. It's knocked down. Recovering, no play. As Thompson Williams has great wheels. The leadoff man is aboard. That brings up Trey Turner, who is 0 for 3. And there's a drive hit well to left field. Trey Turner puts Colorado in front. A two-run shot. And Turner has his second homer of the NLDS. His play this season is a big reason why we've been able to make it this far. We don't have a lot of holes on this team. And while he struggled a year ago, Turner's had a breakout season here with the Rockies. And now it's a 3-1 game. Taylor Rogers is getting warm. Here's a drive from Geronimo deep down the right field line and foul by a few feet. And that is up and in, ball four. Garrett Clevenger, he's done, only getting one out. Another lefty, though, to face Devers, and that's over third base. A base hit. Two more on for Colorado. And here's Ty France, who got the scoring started. That's a chopper. Knocked down again at third base. Only one play, and they beat France to first. Second and third, it's Brandon Nimmo. Even against lefties, he can come through in these spots. And that's outside. Full count to Nimmo. Struck him out on the low sinker. Nimmo chased, and we're headed to the ninth. This bullpen is busy. They've already played two extra inning affairs. Now they're missing a player. But it's all about Taylor Rogers now trying to shut down game three and give the Rockies a series lead. Strike one to Corey Seager. He nails the outside corner. Not chasing that one. Throws a very good slider and curve. And this one's drilled deep to right field. Seager solo, and the Dodgers get one. Threw a sinker right over the middle, a meatball. And Seager goes lefty, lefty, and that brings up Bellinger. Dodgers only down one, 2-0 count. And that's in the air to center field. Bellinger got under it, and now Reynolds does the same one away. The five-hitter is Will Smith. He's hitless today and chases the slider. He gets a lot of whiffs on that pitch, but no call here. Two and two. That's in the air, hit well the right and out of reach. Nimmo chasing this one as Smith makes his way to second. And the Dodgers have the tying run, perhaps a base hit away. 
Rogers stays in the game. Lefty lefty against Muncie. He's ahead 1-2. Got him on the curveball, and the Rockies are one out away from a game three win. It's all up to Kevin Biggio. And that's a line drive, left center field. That'll tie the game. Biggio into second. He turns the corner. And the relay throw is late. Another blown lead for the Rockies. And the closers have had a lot of trouble in this series. Rogers just one out away. And now we play on. Herman Marquez is out of the bullpen trying to finish off the inning. McKinstry looks at one outside, 3-2, way too low. Runners at the corners now, and it's Brent Rooker who's 0 for 1. And he gets a hold of this one, hit deep to left field. The Dodgers have five here in the ninth. Just when it looks like the Rockies are going to take a series lead. This game is ripped away from them. Second homer of the inning, and the second lead the Rockies have squandered here in the first three games. They've missed two big chances now and need a huge ninth inning to follow to force a third extra inning game, perhaps. Johnny Schaefer leads off. You do want him in this spot. That's a chopper to short. Going to be a tough play for Seeger, and Schaefer hustles down the line. An infield hit. We're going to need a little bit more than that, though. Solak comes up empty. It's a two and two count for Caleb Ferguson. Big breaking ball, and Solak out in front, one away. Going to our bench now. Xavier Edwards closed the season strong, but this is a new stage. And he's fallen behind, 0-2. Strike three swinging, and the Rockies are down to their final out. They do at least get the top of the order. Trey Turner, one for four. He homered already. He's in front of this one. Colorado down to their final strike. And that's a cold strike three. The Dodgers come back, and they take game three just as they took game one. The narrative coming in was how poorly we've played against the Dodgers this season, but we've had a chance to win all three of these games. We can go toe to toe with LA, but in these key situations, we just haven't come through and we're now facing elimination. On top of that, the blister is going to keep Sir Anthony Dominguez out for a few days, and we're going to make a move here. I should have already thought about going to a four-man rotation, but we do have Yanni Chirinos now going to the bullpen as we're now missing one of our best pitchers. Dominguez might be the best strikeout pitcher on the entire roster, and he's been one of the most reliable relievers you could ask for in the last two years in this franchise. So now we head into game four. Losing won't cut it now. We've got to beat Tony Gonsolin and send this series back to L.A. where it would be Severino and Bueller. John Means makes the start. We get to our only left-handed starter against the lineup that hits righties much better. Here's Betts on the ground to third base, and that pulls France off the bag. Devers has had a fair amount of throwing errors this season. Corey Seager up, hitting 357 in this series, and he'll chase the slider away. Two down for John Means, and now Bellinger hitting 182. France throwing to Means, and they pitch around the error. Tony Gonsolin put together a very strong season for the Dodgers. Out of all their starters, he gets the least amount of strikeouts. Here's Brandon Nimmo with a base hit to center. Nice way to get this game started. Now Trey Turner. Got one up. It's belted to left field with Carey. It's a two-run homer. Two-run Trey. His third two-run shot of this series. 
And the Rockies get the scoring started early. That's a good sign. John Means gets to pitch with a lead now. And strikes out Teoscar Hernandez looking. The starters have done a great job racking up strikeouts and managing their pitch counts really effectively. Strike three here on the swing and miss. John Means looking good early on. It's usually a very good sign when he's getting these early strikeouts. Here's Tony Gonsolin. And that misses. Three and two to the pitcher. And he just missed. A walk for Gonsolin. Here's Betts. And that's turned on. Hit deep to left. Geronimo will watch this one fly out and tie the game. That's about the same pitch that John Gray attempted to throw at the start of game three. Can't miss with a slider like that. Trey Turner's up again here in the third. This time, Gonsolin pitches around him. A walk is better than a home run. But they're thinking about the stolen base. 2-0. There goes Turner. Cold strike, and Smith is not even close. Turner steals second. Trey in scoring position. And Geronimo strikes out on the high heat. Two down. How about Rafael Devers? Way out in front of the curveball, and he's behind. One, two. On the ground at short. It's Seeger to first, and we're through three. Tied up. Cody Bellinger, three and one count, and John Means misses. His control just didn't stick around as long as he would like. And he missed over the middle. It's Hernandez, deep left center, and the Dodgers pull ahead. Again, it's that slider. And the thing is, is that he had confidence in it too, but still wasn't able to locate it well enough. Trying to throw it for a strike is just too risky. Means gives up a couple two-run homers, and now Rocky's playing from behind. Here's Ty France. Breaking ball up, and he hits it straight down into the ground. Two away. This is Dom Nunez. And that's chopped up the line. Good play at first. Not much here for Colorado. They will go to their bullpen earlier than expected with Armand Marquez in the fifth inning. Corey Seager at the plate. One, two. Tapped up the middle. This time, Devers. Makes the play. Bellinger up again. That's ripped into center field right in front of Reynolds. He can't make a play on it. Bellinger racing into second and safe ahead of the tag apparently. That's an impressive line drive swing by the way. You won't see those all that often. Two down now. Hernandez underneath it. In comes Geronimo. And for Marquez, that is a zero. We're going to need some more of those. Rockies trailing. Dom Thompson-Williams into the left center gap. Hit well. That gets down, and Dom can run. He rounds second and makes his way to third base with a one-out triple. Big hit for the young outfielder. And now the veteran outfielder, Brandon Nimmo, hits it to short. Rockies get a run. Two down now. This is Trey Turner again. And that's left up. It's going to right center this time. And Trey hits the gas. He's thinking three. Here's the throw coming in. It's going to be close. But Trey is in safely. Two triples in the fifth. And Colorado trying to tie the game. Here's Geronimo with a line drive. Come! at second base what a catch to keep the Dodgers lead intact now Scott Oberg joins the action he's been unbelievable this season picks up a quick strikeout Will Smith right on the inside corner and then to the outside he gets him chasing the slider two strikeouts Max Muncy next 
Beautiful change up on the inside corner. And striking out the side. Lights out stuff from Scott Oberg. Let's go bottom six now. Two down. In comes Johnny Schaefer with a man on first. And Schaefer is ahead of Garrett Clevenger. Three and one. And there's a drive. Hit deep to center. Bellinger on the run. Way back. And caught right in front of the fence. He hit it to the deepest part of Coors. And Cody Bellinger has another big defensive play for the Dodgers. And they still lead by one. Jose Alvarado enters. Top of the order for the Dodgers. And Betts pops it up. Alvarado didn't have to go far. Here is Zach McKinstry now. 0-2 quickly. Tapped up the middle weakly. And the play made at second base. A quick inning. Great stuff for Jose Alvarado. And we'll go bottom seven. Rockies trying to get the game at least tied as Solak's jammed. And that's going to land in right field. A base hit. We'll take whatever we can get. Anthony Santander enters. And that one misses outside. Payoff pitch. And that's called ball four. That was actually pretty hittable. I can't believe that didn't get a call. And I don't think Scott Alexander can either. The Rockies have two on and nobody down. Brandon Nimmo. Time to lay down the bunt. A good one, too. Two in scoring position. A new pitcher enters. It's time for Bruce Dar Gratterall. You got to change things up here in the playoffs, and this is a huge spot for the Dodgers. And that is about the same location Alexander didn't get the call earlier. 1-1. One, one. Fouled off, and that was left over the middle. We've seen some pitches to drive in this inning. And that's a called strike three. Turner looks at it, two down. That leaves the inning up to second-year player David Geronimo. Hitless on the day. Way out in front, there's the changeup. Gratterall, 0-2. Struck him out to end the inning. Going off speed away, trying to limit the power of Geronimo, and he gets a little over-aggressive. As we head into the eighth, a relief appearance now for Yanni Chirinos. He faces Corey Seager, and this is on the ground. It's Devers with a loft over to first base. The Oscar Hernandez with two down, pulls it over to Devers. And this throw is in time. A good eighth inning for Chirinos. Rockies need a run. Six outs left. Rafael Devers 0 for 2. And he pulls it right into the shift. Put a great swing on it, but the Dodgers get the first out. Now Ty France. Sinker away. Gratterall locked in. And the slider away gets strike three, two down. Gratterall pitching much better than he did in the first two games in this series. But now falling behind Brian Reynolds, 3-0. And that's not getting the call. Colorado's getting some calls here to go their way. And now Tommy Canely is going to enter. Two down, Johnny Schaefer. Up and in, he's behind it. Schaefer struggled against righties. He needs a hit here. And he chased it low. Strike three. And the Rockies are going to trail going into the ninth. And they'll try to keep this a one-run game as Chirino stays in. Good pitch on the outside. Full count here to Will Smith. And he got it over. Strike three. But not where you want to leave it. Two down, here's Max Muncy. And that's lifted deep to right field. And the Dodgers will tack on some insurance here in the ninth. It's a two-run lead. And this place just got real quiet. No longer are the Rockies one swing away from fixing this game. That's hit hard into the shift. 
But it's going to end the ninth for Chirinos. And now our season is on the line with Caleb Ferguson entering. The Rockies need at least two. Eight, nine, one hitters do up. We begin with Nick Solak. A big acquisition for us this season. And that is in the air, shallow center. Betts comes in, but the catch made by McKinstry, one away. Here's Xavier Edwards off the bench again. Good curveball at the knees. 0-1. Fouled off the cutter. Two strikes on Edwards. Struck him out. It's a cutter inside. A great pitch by Ferguson. And the Rockies are down to their final out of the season at home here in the National League Division Series. Brandon Nimmo looks at one up. It is called ball three. Three and one. Up and in. Nimmo is aboard. And who do you want up with a runner on here? A chance to tie the game. Trey Turner has three two-run home runs in this series. And he's perhaps been our best hitter. Cold strike one outside. 1-1. One, one. Way inside. Turner says it hit him, but it didn't. 2-1 count. Fouled off as Ferguson challenged him. He couldn't catch up. Taken on the corner for ball three. Full count to Turner Geronimo on deck. And he's jammed into right field. In comes Betts, and the season is over for the Rockies. It ends here at home in the NLDS against the Los Angeles Dodgers. We ensure we would play two home playoff games and could not win either one. A bittersweet end to our best season of the franchise. And yet again, we're watching the Dodgers emerge victorious. This ended up being such a winnable series, and it really sucks to lose this one, like this especially. I don't think I played very well, hitting especially in these two home games. They do a really good job, you know, with their locations and speeds, the way they mix things up. So it was really difficult to get dialed in like I wanted to. And ended up hitting a lot of stuff into right field, just getting jammed. And I felt like they weren't throwing me as many fastballs as I was used to. And I had a lot of trouble just adjusting. Of course, the Dodgers end up winning the World Series, and Mookie Betts is the World Series MVP. So they've won back-to-back -back World Series and three of four now in this franchise. This is a really difficult loss and a tough way to end the season. But I feel so good about where this team is at. And this to me wasn't like our one chance. The best version of this team we're going to see. Like, we've made a bunch of good free agent moves. But the league has barely seen what we've done with our minor league system. They've only gotten a taste of what Geronimo's all about and Johnny Schaefer. We got more players coming. And I think that we're really optimizing this team and there's still going to be a chance to take it even further next season. Our pitching has become a major strength. Although today I just got really reckless with the sliders, trying to throw them for strikes trying to trust the confidence ratings and not using it the right way but I love the pitching we have we still need to find that inning eating reliever though that can come in and just get you a couple innings don't have to strike anybody out just get some outs and bridge the gap to our really solid one inning guys for the entire NLDS you wish you just had one more guy in that bullpen that could have come in because everybody was getting gassed I'm not sure if playing Rodgers in that first game was the right call, but given all the lefty lefties and everybody had basically less than max stamina, I gave our best closer a shot and it just didn't work. I definitely got to get better at strategizing for the postseason. I'm just not all that used to it. So I have some things to learn there. 
Despite the losses though, I had so much fun playing these playoff games and having some intense action. It didn't go our way unfortunately, it was very heartbreaking. But I am excited to get to the next season and I'm not counting on there actually being a break for this series now. I want to continue and get to the off season. I haven't decided yet if I'll hold it for the weekend though and stream. I might just do the off season and get it up earlier and let's get to the next spring training and start to try and run this back and maybe get to opening day by the time the next MLB game comes out. I'm obviously sticking with this franchise. I'm having a great time with it and there's still so much more we need to do. I have some plans for the off season and in case I don't stream it, I'd love some feedback here, but initially I'm thinking we probably let Means go. Marquez probably gets traded try to get someone to take on that salary i just don't think means is worth the re-signing not a great strikeout guy not a great like high inning guy either i think we'll just move on i don't know about some of the other pending free agents we'll have to see how everything fits but i want to leave some future room for a devers extension i want to add a reliever or two and i want to see what the young guys can do this year i think we're going to shake up our bench a lot we have so many guys who are about to either uh make the roster or be out of options and be waived so probably going to see some trades happen there but that is going to do it for this video tough way for the season to end but we've come very far with the rockies still some work to do and we'll get to that very soon Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and leave all your feedback down below. And Colorado will be back again soon. Have a great day, everybody.